It's Laura Jackson here, co-founder of FitChicks Academy, where we certify women as fitness and nutrition coaches and help you build amazing businesses. So in today's video, we are talking about mindset. So I can tell you how to work out to lose weight. I can tell you how to eat to get your optimal health. But the one thing that is going to make sure that you are successful for the long haul in living healthy is shifting your mindset. So that's why it's super important that we also talk about this today because most people don't do this work. They don't even realize it's the thing that's blocking them. Okay, so I'm gonna give you my three ways that you can start setting yourself up for a mindset of success, whether it be in your health or your life in general. Okay, so the first thing is don't break commitments to yourself. How many times have you probably said to yourself, okay, this is it, this week I'm totally getting on the workout train, I'm gonna work out seven days a week. And the next thing you know, you do it one day and you miss the next and you feel completely terrible about yourself. Well, that's because you broke a commitment to yourself. But the commitment was probably bigger than you could really commit to right now. So what I'm suggesting is to make sure you don't break those commitments is start off by looking at what you want to achieve. Let's say you want to get in your workouts per week and ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, can I actually do this? So if you say, I want to work out seven days a week on a scale of one to 10, could I give it that? Yeah, ten, number 10, I could totally commit to that. If you can't give it a 10, then dial it back. So try for five days a week, and maybe if you're like, there's no way I could do that, then start off even with one day a week. Because as soon as you start keeping your commitments to yourself, you're gonna start to feel amazing, you're gonna start to feel so much more motivated, and it's gonna build that momentum that you will eventually get up to those seven days. But it starts with not breaking commitments, okay? So that's number one. Number two is to start a new language to yourself. This is something at FitChix Academy and FitChix that we always talk to our clients about. We have something called the FitChix Manifesto and it's 13 habits of a FitChick. We make them read it every single day. And this is where honestly guys, the results are insane that we see because we're reprogramming the way that we see ourselves. In order to be successful for the long haul when it comes to health, you have to see yourself as a fit person. It's not like I just work out or eat healthy because I want to lose weight. It's I work out and eat healthy because that's who I am. And that doesn't happen overnight. But once you keep those commitments to yourself and keep on doing it, change the language, you will eventually start to see yourself as that fit person and it will be so much easier to stick to it. And then lastly is to surround yourself with positivity, which is my favorite thing to do. Make sure everything that you consume in your life is positive. And that means the people you surround yourself with, the podcasts you listen to, the videos that you watch, make sure it's things that actually fill your cup and make you feel good. Because having a, a positive mindset and a success mindset, it can be challenging at first. And when you're hearing negativity, it will pull you back. So surround yourself with that positivity and you're gonna be ahead of the game from the jump. Okay, so those are my top three things. Even if you could just do one right now, starting with not breaking those commitments to yourself, you are gonna be on the road to an amazing mindset of success and reaching all of your goals. Okay, chicks, I will talk to you soon. Bye.